hi everyone welcome back now we are going to implement module 1 since we are already familiar with the services related to module 1 this should be a piece of cake right guys so this is the reference I mentioned in the introduction video it's a github repo called AWS modern application workshop this is provided by AWS itself now if you can see I am on the branch called Python so the implementation is based on Python so if you want to go for .NET, Go, Java, you can select the corresponding branch. But if you want to like follow along with this series, stick with Python because implementation steps varies depending upon the language that you will use. So select Python from the branch. Scroll down a little bit, you will see the introduction and also the application architecture. And then we can proceed to module one. You can find it here or else further down you can find it here as well proceed to module 1 so in module 1 it's about IDE setup and static web hosting so this is the module architecture we already discussed in detail and we discuss about the services in much detail in the previous video as well so now we all are familiar with the theories behind these services so let's get started with the implementation first it says you need to sign into the AWS console and choose a region. Let us all work on US East one region because there are some AWS services available only in a particular regions. If you take US East one or North Virginia, most of these services are available. So let's go for AWS console and make sure you are selected US East one North Virginia region. Let's move on. Our first step is about creating our IDE. Because as we have already mentioned, we are going to use Cloud9, our cloud-based IDE. And we are not going to use our local machine for development. Considering the advantages as discussed in the previous video, we are going to use Cloud9. So let's go to AWS console and search Cloud9. Just type in, you should see it, click on that. That should open Cloud9 homepage. Somewhere in the screen, you should see this orange color action called Create Environment. Click on that. Here, you can give a name to your environment. If you are following along with the exact steps, you can go to here and give it a name, Mythical Misfits IDE. Give some description and click next step. Here, it's about configuring settings for your environment. When you're spinning up a new environment in Cloud9, it's going to create an EC2 instance behind the scene and create that environment in it. Click create new instance for environment ec2 or there's an option for you to ssh into a remote server if you'd like but in this case i'm going to create a new environment ec2 based on t2 micro instance now if you are in the free tier guys t2 micro is a free tier eligible so be careful selecting other options you will be charged a quick disclaimer i'm not going to be responsible for any charges incurred throughout this workshop i will point you all the places where you will be built so be careful on that right so select it to micro and for the platform select amazon linux and this is cost saving settings where after 30 seconds you will put the machine to a hibernation mode and that will not incur any cost for you network settings we are not going to touch upon this we are going to run this on our default vpc and click next step all right review the things and click create environment it will take couple of minutes for it to provision resources and get the environment up and running so be patient a little bit while it is spinning up the environment let's go on to our guide and read about the next step so we completed this particular step once we got our cloud9 id running we need to have some startup code since we are on the branch python we can clone the python related repository by using git clone so this is the github repo we should clone from so copy this one and let's get back to our IDE. Yep, everything is set up. A little bit about the IDE. You have all your files on the left side. In this drawer on the left side, you have all your files. At the moment, that's only a readme file folder called mythical misfit, right? And this is the file content area. And at the bottom, you have the terminal. So in this terminal, you have all the access to AWS services, as we already discussed. And it is coming along with some softwares already installed, like JIT, Python, Node.js, etc. And to your right side, you have this settings icon or preferences. Click on that. 
when you click that you can customize your edit as you want you can set up how many spaces for tabs and key bindings well if you are a shortcut fans you can configure them according to your previous id experience like sublime text or vim if you're familiar just select that it will use those bindings there's this theme section as well you can select a darker theme if you'd like so i'll choose this one looks nice on my eyes like that you can configure it the way you want okay so let's get started so i'm going to clone the repository so i just copy that again Inside the terminal, I paste this in git clone dash p python and the workshop repository and hit enter. And as soon as you do that, you should see all code get cloned inside our mythical misfit id folder. Great. Let's move on and it says okay cd into this cd modern application workshop folder so let's go into that folder by typing cd modern application workshop now we are inside it with that we are successfully completed setting up our cloud9 ide <laughs>